Hi there subscribers, my name is Sanya, welcome back to another exciting creator commentary video. In today's session I'm thrilled to take you on a journey through one of my most popular videos, a stunning pop haircut tutorial that has garnered a staggering 9.5 million views. Back in 2019 when I created this video I opted for a more simple approach without the usual graphics that you can find in my videos. In today's commentary I'm excited to provide you with a detailed verbal walkthrough of the bob haircut featured in the video. This particular bob showcases a classic rendition of the one-line bob. As a final touch, I incorporated soft layering to infuse style with enhanced movement and dynamic. This delicate layering adds a contemporary twist to the timeless bop, resulting in a look that seamlessly balanced tradition and modernity. Handling fine and silky hair like what my model has requires special attention. Keep in mind that this hair type doesn't conceal any imperfections. Work meticulously as even the slightest deviation will be noticeable. Your careful approach will ensure a flawless outcome. As I begin to part the hair, I search for her natural part, which falls on the right side. This deliberate choice results in a haircut that's technically asymmetrical, but appears visually symmetrical. Transitioning to the back of the head, I carefully create a central parting that extends from the crown down to the nape area. Next, I create an additional section by parting the hair from ear to ear along the top of the head. This separation effectively distinguishes the front portion of the hair from the back, setting the stage for focus styling and cutting technique. At this point, back sections are slightly inverted and situated above the occipital bone and just beneath the crown of the head. This specific separation is vital for achieving the desired haircut, shape and structure. Maintain the cleanliness and precision of each section you create. I personally prefer using small, delicate clips as they don't leave any mark or visible lines on the hair. With the base nape section in place, I initiate the process of creating additional sections. Each of these sections will be carefully crafted and will adhere to the same mirrored pattern. When I begin the cutting process, I rely on comb to apply a gentle tension. Here, I follow the mirrored pattern once again, aligning the cutting technique with the previously separated sections. Additionally, when establishing a guide, it's essential to maintain the head in the natural position. This practice guarantees that the initial length is accurate from the start. If you tilt the head forward during the first section, the hair will appear longer when the head returns to its natural position. Therefore, only adjust the head's tilt after setting up the guide to ensure precise length consistency. Once the guideline is in place, I transition to applying stronger tension achieved by using my fingers to hold the hair taut. This increased tension facilitates more controlled and accurate cutting, contributing to the overall polished look of the haircut. Moving on to the next section, I uphold the uniform angle of the parting and position the hair over the guide. I've noticed that some hairdressers tend to leave subsequent sections longer, which leads to an uneven length. To prevent this, always remember to trim the hair directly above the guide while cutting, rather than allowing it to be longer. This approach ensures a consistent and balanced final result. My preferred approach involves cutting one entire side before moving on to the other. This method grants me enhanced control over the angle and overall symmetry. However, if maintaining balance presents a challenge for you, it's worth considering the option of working on both sides simultaneously. Adapt the technique to your comfort level and expertise, ensuring the best possible outcome for your haircut. As the section begins to widen towards the front, you'll notice that the guide from the initial section might not be visible at the corners. To address this, it's important to comb the hair in its natural growth direction and avoid over-directing it backward or forward. Instead, align the comb with the same angle as the section and gently extend the hair on the sides to your desired length. After completing the first side, we replicate the entire process on the other side. This consistent approach ensures that both sides of the haircut mirror each other precisely, resulting in a harmonious and polished final look. With the lower portion complete, I proceed to work on sections from the crown area. The process of sectioning and cutting follows the same pattern as before. As I continue with the sections, I adjust the head's position by reducing the tilt. Additionally, if needed, you can tilt the head to the side. This technique elongates the corners and ensures a balanced outcome. The extent of these adjustments typically varies based on the length you're working with. Adapting the head's position in this manner contributes to a customized and well-proportioned final look.
with the back section completed, I transition to working on the sides. To start, I select a section that follows the line from the back to the front. It's important to gather an ample amount of hair in this initial section to establish a robust guide. Similar to earlier steps, utilize the comb to generate minimal tension, especially over the ear area. Be mindful of compensating for the protrusion of the ears, ensuring an even and balanced cut in this region. Subsequently, we replicate the process on the opposite side. Maintain a consistent level of a head tilt to ensure symmetry throughout the haircut. By adhering to the same tilt on both sides, you'll achieve a balanced and even result. This attention to detail ensures that the final look exudes a sense of harmony and refinement. Proceed to blow dry the hair. For this step, I typically opt for a petal brush, however, when working with shorter hair, a wet brush can be more suitable. Redefine the outline with minimal tension, ensuring each detail is precisely in place. This stage is highly visual, so remember to step back and assess the overall appearance before zooming in on specific points of the haircut. This broader perspective ensures that the entire haircut maintains its cohesion and balance. Once the foundational line is established, my preferred technique involves adding texture to the top. This step aims to introduce a touch of movement and eliminate any sense of heaviness in the hair. Texturizing the top layer contributes to a more dynamic and lively final result. During this phase, I employ vertical sections that start at the center back and direct the hair toward the middle. It's worth emphasizing that I work with a low angle, concentrating mainly on trimming the top part. The intention needs to enhance the shape that has been diligently shaped, rather than compromising it. Exercise caution to prevent overcutting, the aim is to refine the look while preserving its length. This technique elevates the overall haircut, ensuring its structure remains intact. After removing the excess weight, I proceed by repeating the sectioning and applying a soft point cutting technique. However, it's important to know that this step can be optional and dependent on the hair structure and the level of softness you desire. So feel free to skip this step if it doesn't align with your hair goals. This flexibility ensures that the haircut is tailored to your specific preferences and hair type. Remember, every snip and stroke contributes to the narrative of your personal style. If you enjoyed witnessing this creative process, don't forget to subscribe and follow my YouTube channel for more inspiring hair transformations and expert tips. And let me know which tutorial would you like me to elaborate next. Bye!